Caner Universe, it's 2023, and we're kicking off Caner Tip Tuesday on the American Cane Boxing. And the reason for that is because coming now in February, we have Winter Cane Immersion, and we're doing the American Cane Boxing Certification. And we're excited about meeting some of you for the first time. We have coaches that are coming in, some who are going to be walking out as certified American Cane Boxing coaches. So uh, in honor of that, we are going to do between now and February the to topics on American cane boxing. Listen, before we get started, uh, go ahead and if you like the content, hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell icon. You don't want to miss any uh, content that we have for you in 2023. And I always remind you, we're still doing it in 2023. Avail yourself of the two free resources. The first one is that and that's the premier one that you want to you want to put in, into good use right away. Text the letter CCC to 305-745-7839. In less than 24 hours, we'll be on a call for you. We schedule it so that we can dedicate the time to listen to what's important to you, what it is that you want to uh, out of this, whether it be questions on canes or how to get caned trained. That's the whole idea. Uh, training is the real equalizer. And you'll walk out of there with a plan. And the best time to do that is now in 2023, early, so that you can set it for the year. You'll know exactly what to do every time you pick up your cane because you're not going to learn it just from, from watching this and you're not going to do it the right way. And then the other thing is we have a, a free group on Facebook. Uh, look up the, the group Cane Flow, look at the description, request entry, and they will let you right in. And for those of you that are unfamiliar, if you're watching this for the first time, American Cane Boxing, what is that? Uh, well, it, it's a close quarter combat uh, system. It's a specialty curriculum of American Cane self-defense, and it's done with a shorter cane, the ACB 32. It still walks straight with this uh, a cane, and it's got some features on it. I'm not going to go over uh, the cane, but those of you that are coming next month to Winter Cane Immersion, you need one of these, okay? So make sure you, you bring one. And um, I'm going to go over some of the applications now. In the core, in, in, in ACB, there's a core drilling called 232 drills. 232 re refers to one portion of a striking template. And the purpose of this drilling is to start training the eyes and the brain to see things coming at you, work on your reflexes, your skill, and to do it in a confined area, right? If, if you need to do that, that's why you have that shorter cane. So I'm gonna extract from that, and I am gonna start it with a two, three, two sequence and uh, sequence and show you uh, potential applications. So this is this is the movement, by the way, two, three, and two, and you're not seeing my feet. I'm not gonna get real technical with this, but if we tilt down the, ca the, the, the camera for a second so you can see what the feet are doing, um, it looks this way. So here's your two, here's your three, and here's your two. You see that I have hip rotation behind that and it will work exactly the same because you do the exact same thing with your strikes. Palm heel strikes coming here, that's how you coordinate it. Everybody thinks naturally when they see the drilling, you're dealing against punches, but that's not necessarily true. You can use it outside of there. Remember, this is a situation where I couldn't go into power shot mode because maybe there's walls here, there's something, now there's people, I'm gonna hit something. And I did go from here, something was brewing, I brought it up, right? Like we teach you, right? So that because otherwise it's going to, you're gonna to be too slow and she's bigger, stronger, faster. She breaks through and her hands got in here and I have to stop her. Now you see how I pin the hands because what I don't want is for her to escalate and draw a weapon, right? So if I let that go and she picks into, oh, maybe it's a knife, it's a gun, whatever it is. So when I did this, I did give her a tap and I would love for her to let me go there. But if not, everything is here set up for two, three, and that two. And it's dynamic. We don't expect, we believe that once we do something like this, she's going to go ahead and start drawing back. What if she goes to do that? And there it is. So I have to be first with this. When she draws back, boom, there's my strike first. The follow-up shot has me covered. See that? And I want you to take a look at that because that's what we refer to a bit as, the, yes, we're deflecting. Next week, tune in because I'll show you the shoulder roll that ties into this. But you see how it has the, def the defense already set in when you're close up, when you're up in, right? This is where you're dealing with that. So, hey, listen, boom, she broke through, bang, 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 bang. This is where you're dealing. And it looks like a steering wheel that we have in the core curriculum, but it's happening out here on this plane. That's one way to do it. 
The second way is the one that you're more, up there, and there are other ways, but I'm just choosing these, these two now, um, is when you're dealing against that, that strike. So you're, you're working here, again, I don't have the space to, to do anything, and here comes the shot, straight. This, this time the shot is gonna come straight. So, so it, it, you're, you're right here, boom, and they're just throwing a shot at you. And you didn't have a lot of room to move around, you didn't have a lot of room to do anything. My cane is still here. I still like to have it here. And this is where, when it comes in, I'm gonna use that three, that three out of the two, three, two sequence, I'm gonna use it to knock down that shot. Hmm? to deviate that. And it, it's an actual shot. Um, a lot of times when you hit that styloid uh, process, that, that wrist bone out there, it's an impact tool. It cracks, so, the, the, the move, so, so, so pop, pop, right? You're moving quick, pop, pop, pop. That's how you're, how you're moving this. So it's here, back off, gotta wait. That's where you're working, possibly to move in. So you can go in here and jam and get them off of you, get them off of you. We we'll always talk about moving that center, moving your hips as you're coming forward. You do your striking and you're gonna move. There's a way that you do that step and drag to move. I want, I want you to see this. One, two, three. When I move, I'm moving her out of here. If she is not right, if she's not going anywhere, I'm moving my center forward. And that can lead also to if I need to control, if I need to do anything else, pop, pop, pop. If I'm moving in here, and I have to move in, right, to control the situation, whatever that may be. That comes straight out of your drilling. Now, I want to show you something, okay? Because everybody just thinks that this has to function only on this plane because that's how you drill it. That is not true. If I move here, when I move out, look at how my game can just come down, right? So I move from here, that's my two, but I chose to come down now and take out. I love it because this is so difficult to stop. This is a very difficult shot, shot to stop, right off of your two, pop. Very difficult to stop that. There, there it goes, pop, pop. So I'm using now my three in such a way that it's to deflect and get that strike out of the way. Pop, pop, right, spin off jab jab and get out and we'll talk about the jamming uh, the jabbing as we move forward but it starts giving you an idea of the importance of coordinating getting that drilling down into the nerve system because that's why you're doing it it looks real fancy it looks real cool right when you're doing it with the pad two three two roll two those of you that are familiar um, with it if you're not familiar with that look it up we've put it out there you can see the drilling it's a lot of fun uh, but the idea is to um, ingrain it in the nerve system so that it's there for you when you need as of this um as of this filming we still have four uh, slots available uh for acb we always limit participation for your best experience no more than six caners to one floor instruction uh, instructor you'll have typically about uh three to four uh coaches uh on the floor and i lead it all from the platform so that we can get uh to everybody for your best experience but if you're interested in that please don't even text anything at this point because it's it's we're it's right around the corner. Just call 800-289-8188 and let's find out if that um, would be something uh, for you. But read what Caners say when they come down to Miami to the headquarters for live training, and um, it's considered the finest uh, uh, live uh, training when it comes to uh, the cane. That's it for our first segment here today. I'm excited for you. And doesn't matter whatever happened in 2022 last year, you didn't get trained, oh, you meant to do it. Doesn't matter, all that is done. I'm telling you, you can get it done and you will get it done. Stick with us, you're gonna cane places. Thanks for watching, stay safe.